Hello. Welcome to Incredible World. What's so strange, was present there in the 450 feet above, an almost 4,500 years old pyramid. That to only watch that researcher sent a robotic camera, inside the pyramid. At a place in pyramid, that robotic camera stops, because now, there is a stone slab in front of camera. According to researchers, there must any secret behind this slab. That is buried since last 4,500 years. And researchers want to know that secret, at any case. And that's why, they set a drill machine at the front of robot, that creates a hole in slab. Now, a camera is sent in that slab's hole. Camera caught a scene that had been not seen by anyone since 4,500 years. Viewers, almost 138 highest pyramids are present in Egypt. Those pyramids face a lot of earthquakes, and heavy storms, but these such diva stating disasters can't create any impact on those. Among these the highest pyramid is, the Great Pyramid of Giza, whose base spreads approximately, over 13 acres. Estimated, amount of stones used in this pyramid are 23 lakh. Among these stones some of them are of 50 ton, and weight of overall pyramid is 60 lakh ton. But the point is, what is the reason behind their formation? Thousands of years ago, when there was no tools so how, large pyramids are created. How these 50 ton stones were cut it in a square shape, and set it on the 480 feet height without any crane. And what sort of engineers they have, who made these pyramids earthquake proof, and also every side angle is 51.5 degree. You will get to know everything in this video. Let's get started. From many eras researcher teams are trying to find out the construction technique, of these pyramids that how their each sides north south east and west are set without any compass. Many experts think that, Egypt people had first of all found the land that can bear weight in tons. And then they had to, find the polar stars to find the poles of earth. With the help of those stars, every side of pyramids were marked. Only by using this technique, pyramids direction was set and of course without any zero error. Next thing is the level of land. The level should be plain because, if the land was not plain, then it is not possible for the mountain of the 23 lakh stones to stand. At that time there was no equipments like laser level, nor bubble level to level the land. Experts believe that first they created a tunnel around, and then pour some water in that, and then the one side of water level is, matched with the other side of water level. And then where the level of land, is not same as level of water, from there they trimed land to make that equal. Many experts believed that ancients Egyptian used this tool, that has wooden scale at both sides, and in center a stone hanged with rope. If the stone touched the land, and its rope is at the center, then it means the land is plain. Now, it's time to build pyramid that, requires a large amount of heavy stones. To cut these stones, they didn't have any equipments. But still they cut down that 50 tons heavy stones, and also give them rectangular and square shape. And this is the only tool through which stones are cut down. As we know, these stones are made up of limestones. At that time limestones were present in Torah that is 250 kilometers away from Giza. So problem is, how these stones were transported to Giza. Every stone is equals to 50 tons, almost 50,000 kilograms and 23 lakh same stones, were used in only one pyramid. But at that there was no heavy cranes or trucks, and animals can't bear a lot of weight. Tor shock, this was done by workers, and also with help of boats. They took benefit of river, present between Giza and Torah. Experts believe that this task was not that easy. At least 500 workers were required for the load, and unload of the stones in ship. Now, experts almost got answers of every question, but still there is a dilemma, that stones were cut and transferred, but how did they go to such a high level? Many experts believed that maybe they climb by using spiral track, or by using zigzag track. But this is confirmed that, almost 50,000 labors were required for this. But the problem is not yet solved, there are a lot of tunnels, apartments to go inside these pyramids. And the most shocking for the experts, that, stones used inside is not limestone, but it is granite. Granite is the second hardest stone of world. In this modern era, granite can't cut down without using any heavy equipment. 
many archaeologists did research and also visit the Egypt pyramids. But they can't be able to find answer. How Egyptian cut down the granite so sharply, 4,500 ago. But then after years, they got answer. Egyptian used a tool, that don't have teeth, and while doing they put gravel in middle. Experts believe that, to cut such a big stones required four months time. After all, what is the reason of pyramid formation? How many workers work for their formation? And what did robotic camera saw inside pyramid? You will get to know this in the part 2 of this video.